Now, we have some very, very sad news. You'll all remember uh, Bradley Lowry, who was uh, the Sunderland fan. He was a mascot for Sunderland quite a few times last season. We know that he was best friends with Jermaine Defoe. We saw Jermaine Defoe break down in his news conference at Bournemouth yesterday because Bradley's condition was uh, deteriorating. He suffered from neuroblastoma. Well, unfortunately, Bradley has now passed away. There is a statement here from his parents. It says, my brave boy has gone to the Angels today at 1.35 this afternoon in mummy and daddy's arms surrounded by his family. He was our little superhero and put the biggest fight up, but, but he was needed elsewhere. There are no words to describe how heartbroken we are. Thank you everyone for all of your support and your kind words. And they, say, they end by saying, sleep tight baby boy and fly high with them angels. So young Bradley Lowry has unfortunately passed away this afternoon. Can you please sponsor me? Get me better. Obviously, it's heartbreaking what's happening, and all this, every, everything that's happening, just means that he's going to leave a name behind and hopefully help other children that's in his same position as well. As a person, he's changed me because what he's actually going through at such a young age, um, the fight. So, I mean, I take it onto the picture of me every time I play, um, you know, because you know, he's, a, he's an inspirational young boy. It's something that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Today, Superman got nothing on me. In two minutes, yeah. Yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been difficult. It's been hard. Cause I've just kept this in for so long. Obviously, trying to be strong for like my family and his family as well. But I don't know. I don't really know what I had to sort of like put in words how I really feel because. It was just, it's just a special time, really, having that sort of like relationship with Brad's. From that, that sort of like first moment I met him, um, and I just couldn't believe that he was actually the, the the young kid that was ill because he sort of like ran over to me. I just think from that from that moment, it was just like um, just that instant connection. Um, obviously, I knew he was going to be mascot, but obviously I hadn't seen a picture of him, so I didn't really know. And he just ran over to me. I thought, okay, then this must <laughs> this must be little Brad's and stuff like that. But just his energy. Um, in the change rooms, bossing the other little kids around and stuff like that, you know, just get great character. But all I can say really, I mean, I speak to, you know, the family every day. Um, I was with him a few days ago and it was tough to see him, obviously suffer like that. Um, uh, in a way, I felt, I felt like I was prepared for it because what I've been through previously, with my, like with my dad. Um, but it was just so tough to actually see a kid that, you know, of that age that's been going through, through this for so long and obviously got to the stage where I mean it's, you know there's a lot of stuff on social media where he's, he's obviously struggling and it's a, I, I can say it's a probably a matter of, matter of days but I mean it, 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 it would always be in my heart you know for the rest of my life um, and you know what can I say I, I mean the family know that not only me but my whole family we're, we're there for the family you know even going forward but it's just it's it's difficult, and it, I suppose it puts stuff into into perspective. Um, I, I mean, there's not a day that goes past where you know where I don't wake up in the morning and, and sort of like check my phone or think about little Bradley because his love's genuine, and I can see it in his eyes when he looks at me. So it's just uh, it's, it's it's special. So yeah.
Now, we have some very, very sad news. You'll all remember uh, Bradley Lowry, who was uh, the Sunderland fan. He was a mascot for Sunderland quite a few times last season. We know that he was best friends with Jermaine Defoe. We saw Jermaine Defoe break down in his news conference at Bournemouth yesterday because Bradley's condition was uh, deteriorating. He suffered from neuroblastoma. Well, unfortunately, Bradley has now passed away. There is a statement here from his parents. It says, my brave boy has gone to the Angels today at 1.35 this afternoon in mummy and daddy's arms surrounded by his family. He was our little superhero and put the biggest fight up, but, but he was needed elsewhere. There are no words to describe how heartbroken we are. Thank you everyone for all of your support and your kind words. And they, say, they end by saying, sleep tight baby boy and fly high with them angels. So young Bradley Lowry has unfortunately passed away this afternoon. Can you please sponsor me? Get me better.